On day one, I spawned in as a baby warden shark. I was in an underwater ancient city and watched as my fellow warden sharks were being attacked by an army of drowned. What's going on? Son, over here! I saw both of my parents and quickly started to make my way over to them. Quickly, we must escape before... Just then, a swarm of drowned shot up from the depths, capturing my parents. Mom? Dad? No! The Drowned King then emerged from the swarm, and I quickly hid to avoid his detection. <laughs> Another domain falls to the ground! Come, my army! Let us conquer the next! This can't be happening! As the horde swam away from the ancient city, I chased after them. I have to save my parents! I continued to follow them into the next day, until I found myself in front of a massive underwater fortress. There were drowned everywhere. How am I gonna get past them? I then noticed my parents at the top of the building, in front of the Drowned King. Irritating creatures! You shall be free no longer! Bow before the might of the drowned! The king shot a powerful blast and suddenly transformed them both into drowned sharks! No! The drowned king heard my cry and snapped around! Another one? Bring me that warden shark! My parents then immediately shot towards me with the intent to kill! Oh no! I have to get out of here! I was too small and weak to do anything but swim away, with my zombified parents closing in right behind me. By day three, I was swimming as fast as I could, but my parents were catching up. I was trying to use the nearby kelp to lose them, but nothing was working. Think, Fozo. Think! I noticed a nearby cave and dove in just before my dad could land a bite. Whew! I'm finally safe. Just as I was beginning to relax, the entryway was destroyed, revealing both of my parents. No, please, it's me, your son. They were about to attack me when suddenly a dolphin swam in between us. My parents lunged at him, but he was able to easily evade them and hit them with a special attack. Follow me, little warden shark! I was graced with the incredible speed from the dolphin, and we quickly swam away, finally escaping my drowned family. Once we were in a safe space, the dolphin introduced himself as Raiden. I'm glad to see that one warden shark survived the attack. I've been spying on the drowned king for a while now, and witnessed your city fall. Then you saw my parents get turned into monsters. I have to save them. He told me that I was far too weak to fight anything, let alone the drowned king's army. I I know of five ancient hearts of the skull. Each one you possess will make you stronger in different ways, but I only know where one of them is. If I find them all, then I'll be strong enough to defeat the Drown King and save my parents. Where do I begin? The next day, Raiden led me through a cave until we came across an opening that led to a large temple. We went inside and found a heart of the Skulk sitting on a pedestal in the middle of a room. Perfect! I then swam towards it. Bozo, wait! As I grabbed the heart, the area began to shake violently before drowned guardians broke through the temple walls. We were completely surrounded and things looked hopeless. But then I felt something growing from inside of me. I grew into an adult-sized warden shark and gained five more hearts. I felt so strong. As the guardians began to attack, I realized that I had a powerful warden bite. They were strong, but with my new ability, I was able to eventually take them all down. Man, and with no hearts to spare. See, this is why you're so important, Fozo. You are the only one who can use these skull cards. And with them, we can finally end the Drown King's reign. Together, we left the temple, but were quickly interrupted by a rumbling noise. Wait, Raiden, do you hear something? We both turned around, only to see a massive wave barreling towards us. Swim! We tried to swim as fast as we could, but found ourselves swept away into a powerful wave, causing me to pass out. On day five, I slowly woke up in a cove. Ah, uh, what happened? I noticed that my hearts were really low. Did that wave almost kill us? Fozo, I sense another wave on its way. We have to shelter ourselves now. You're right. I quickly noticed a sunken ship in the cove and collected materials from it before making a set of stone tools. I was even able to find some emeralds and iron in the chest. From there, I got enough materials to start making myself and Raiden a large 
large underwater shelter. I even added a wall alongside the coast to prevent any other tidal waves from hitting us. Just as I finished, I heard a large slam. <sighs> Looks like you finished just in time, Fozo. I then noticed my hunger was getting low. Using my new bite ability, I went around the bottom of the ocean and hunted down some fish. This ability is amazing. I wonder if each heart of the skulk will give me a new one. As I finished eating, Raiden and I heard a noise coming from the surface. I looked around and saw a huge wooden object. What can that be? I swam up on day six and peeked out of the water to see a massive ship floating in front of me. It looks like it's full of pirates? I then looked over and saw the captain talking to none other than the Drowned King. Yeah, it be a deal. Then the water's surface now belongs to you, Captain Deadbeard. Take this book and guard it with your life. If it is combined with the sacred skulk artifacts, then our drowned curse can be broken, which can't happen. The king tossed the pirate captain a strange looking book. <gasps> Wait, if I have that, then I can save my family. And be on the lookout for a baby warden shark. He escaped my new pets. Pets? Those are my parents. I got angry and swam closer to the boat, but suddenly was pulled under the surface. Ah, what's happening? I noticed that there was a large patch of magma blocks. I began taking damage. This isn't good. Luckily, I was able to break free before I lost too many hearts. When I reemerged, though, I saw the ship sailing away. No, I couldn't let them get away. I have to get that book. I continued to follow the ship into the next day until it eventually docked by land. Ugh, finally. Now to sneak on board. Unfortunately, there was no way for me to reach the deck from the water. While searching for an alternative route in, one of the pirates spotted me. Ahoy! That's one. Morgan Shark, be all here! A bunch of pirates then rushed out from the ship and started shooting at me. Ah! I have to get out of here! I pushed myself back into the water and quickly swam down while dodging their bullets. Ugh, I need to get stronger before I can take them on. Just then, I noticed the clownfish watching me from behind some kelp. Hey, buddy, do you know? Don't eat me! The fish bolted away. Hey, wait! I'm not gonna hurt you! No way! I'm not falling for that! Finally, I cornered the little guy in a small cave. Hey, man, I'm not hungry, okay? Hey, I'm just looking for some hearts of the skulk. Do you know anything about them? You mean you're not going to eat me? The fish seemed suspicious of me, but then swam closer. Hmm, yeah, okay, sure. I know about a heart, but if I help you, then you got to help me with something. Deal. What do you need help with? On day eight, the clownfish brought me to a coral reef. Oh, wow. This place is beautiful. My home is down there, and I was taken over by the drown. If you help me retrieve my joke book, I'll take you to the heart. I'm a clownfish. I need my jokes. We began to swim down when I saw a movement behind the coral. What the? Suddenly, drowned eels swam right for us. Oh, no. I went in and fought them. Their attacks were tough, but with my new warden bite, I can tell it was severely damaging them. After a a little while, I was finally able to take them all down. Wow, thanks, man. These waters are getting dangerous. To be honest, the first non drowned guy I've seen in a while. Yeah, well, you're the first fish that I haven't wanted to eat. You should stick with me. Us survivors gotta stick together, right? I could tell that the clownfish was grateful. Both him and I went inside his small broken home before I went into a nearby chest. Just as he said, there was his joke book. Thanks, Warden Shark. I don't know what I would do without this. The name's Marlton. Of course. Now, you said you can show me towards the next heart. The clownfish nodded and started to lead the way. On days 9 to 10, we reached a strange crevice in the middle of the ocean. Whoa. What is this place? Marlton brought me further down until he beelined it out of nowhere. Hey, why would he just leave me? Was this a trap? I heard a loud noise coming from the bottom of the cave and decided to follow it. I reached an underwater cave tunnel. While traveling, I managed to find some iron alongside the cave walls. With it, I smelted some and crafted myself some iron armor and tools for my journey. Who knows what's ahead? I kept going until I reached an opening. This has to be where the sound was was coming from. All of a sudden, a huge creature slowly started to rise behind me. I turned around, only to see a giant killer whale staring me down. Ah! The killer whale said nothing and immediately started to attack me. Leave my home at once! 
I tried to fight back, but I could tell my bites weren't doing that much damage to it. Okay, I'm leaving. I was swimming away, and the whale was charging right behind me. On days 11 to 12, I managed to find a small crack in the cave wall. I quickly went through it, which bought me enough time to escape the killer whale. Phew, that was close. I kept going until I found an underwater room that was holding the second heart of the skulk. Wow, I guess Marlton was telling the truth. I swam over and picked it up. My scales then changed and I gained five more hearts. I feel so much stronger. My celebration though was cut short because the killer whale blasted through one of the cave walls. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. The whale charged in, but thanks to my increase in strength, I was putting up a way better fight. The whale even noticed this and started to flee away. Yeah, that should teach you not to mess with the warden shark. I was leaving the crevice when Marlton reappeared. Oh, there you are. Thanks for the backup back there. Uh, sorry. I had stage fright, I guess. It looks like you've gotten stronger. I told you I know where it was. I just wish I still had a home. Come on, Marlton. I think I know a perfect spot for your new one. On days 13 to 14, I began building up Marlton's new house at our cove. He was quite small, so I wasn't too worried about the size of it. And done. How do you like it? Say, thanks, Fozo. This place looks great. All that's missing now is a small stage to do my little comedy shows. I can't wait. That sounds amazing. I quickly left to go check on Raiden, but to my surprise, he wasn't home. I wonder where he could be. I thought back to the pirate and knew if I wanted to find that book, I would have to find a way to get on land. I looked at the shoreline, and for some odd reason, I had the urge to walk on the beach. Once I did, something began to happen. Thanks to my second upgrade, my body changed, and two legs sprouted out, giving me the ability to walk. Ah! I began taking my first steps. Okay, this feels weird. I was making my way further away from the ocean, filled with excitement. I was the first shark with legs? Awesome! My excitement got cut short because I began to realize that I couldn't breathe. My heart started depleting and I needed to get back to the water fast. Oh no, what do I do? With no water in sight, I knew that I was done for. Right before death, a villager ran in and dumped a bucket of water onto me. Oh, that's so much better. Hey, Thanks for the save. Wow, you are an ugly one, aren't you? Look, I saved you, so don't kill me. Of course I won't. Would you happen to know a way around this breathing problem I'm facing here? Uh, I may have something. Follow me, ugly shark. The villager and I hurried over to a coastal village. I was holding my breath as long as I could. He introduced me to another villager in a robe. I explained my problem to him, and he pulled out a special potion. Well, I do have this permanent potion of air breathing. It's useless to us. Cool. Uh, can I have it then? Um, no, idiot. I want emeralds. I'm a villager. Oh, right. Thankfully for me, I found some days ago. The villager then dropped me the potion. I drank it and immediately felt way better. Awesome! I was quickly interrupted by the sound of a dolphin. Can this be? I left the villagers' homes and made my way to the coast. Sure enough, Raiden was there waiting. Fozo, there you are. And you have legs. Uh, anyway, uh, listen, that pirate ship we saw earlier, I've been following its trail and it's currently docked at a shoreline close by. It is? Maybe with my new legs, I can stand a chance. I left the shoreline and quickly followed Raiden. Sure enough, the pirate ship was exactly where he said it was. If we're able to get that book that holds the cure, we can reverse all of this. I have an idea. Let's just hope it works. On day 17 to 18, I used my newly acquired legs and jumped aboard the drowned pirate ship. I looked around and noticed all the pirates were sleeping. Huh, I need to stay quiet then. I snuck my way into the captain's quarters just to find the captain himself snoozing in his chair. <laughs> Right next to him was the magic book. I guess this will be easier than I thought. Oh, no. No, Ma. I don't regret me life choices. You'll never understand me. That was close. I crept closer and grabbed the book. What? Ahoy! 
way. That blasted wooden shark be in me quarters, and he got legs. Uh-oh. I quickly ran out onto the deck, but found myself cut off by the drowned pirates. They all attacked me, and I did my best to fight them with my warden bite. I even knocked some into the water, where Raiden was waiting to finish them off. Just then, Captain Deadbeard came out of nowhere and knocked me back. I tried to bite him, but it seemed to have little effect, and I soon found myself surrounded by his men. So, ye thought ye could just take me book and leave? Did he? Trapped? I had to think fast. I yelled out to Raiden and tossed the book overboard. No! The captain then knocked me out before turning to see Raiden escaping with the book. Curses! You'll pay for what you've done, Warden Shark. I woke up the next day to find myself locked in a cell. Standing right next to me was a little baby whale. Oh my goodness. Are you okay, little guy? Hey, mister. No, I haven't had water in days. He didn't look like he would last much longer. Why would those savages do this? Why, to strengthen our army, of course. The Drowned King and I have big plans. You would even turn this poor baby whale into a monster? What care be it, oh mine? As long as I help the Drowned King, I get to rule the seas above with no competition. Suddenly, the whole ship began to shake violently. Uh, what's going on? Yar! It be that cursed beast again! Water then started to pour in as the ship began to crack. Seeing a hole, the baby whale and I quickly escaped into the open water. We both turned around to see that a giant drowned jellyfish had crushed the ship and dragged it under the surface. He doesn't seem friendly. The jelly fish must have noticed us because he immediately began to swim in our direction. On days 21 and 23, the drowned jellyfish tried to attack the baby whale. I stepped in and used my bite on it. It looks like even my bite was stronger because this jellyfish was definitely taking some damage. The drowned king will be happy once you're dead. I spoke too soon because his attacks hurt a lot. Ah! I thought I was done for when all of a sudden the giant killer whale I saw previously jumped in. It started to attack the jellyfish as well. With our combined strength, the jellyfish stood no chance and was soon defeated. You found my precious baby. Mama! I'm just happy you guys are safe now. I'm sorry for trying to hurt you before. I thought you worked for that horrible drowned king. He took everything from me. Well, I'm doing everything in my power to stop him. If you guys need a safe place to stay, then I have the perfect place for that. Ahoy! Uh, you summoned me? I have been informed that the Warden Shark took the book I ordered you to protect with your life! Aye, but your drowned jellyfish attacked me and- EXCUSES! Kill that shark! It's his head or yours! All three of us returned back to the cove on days 24 to 26. I quickly found a nice spot for them and made them their own home that was roomy for their size. Looking at the entire cove, I knew that this place was coming along nicely. Thank you so much for your hospitality. I was about to say you're welcome when I was quickly interrupted by a joke. All right, all right. What do you call a fish with no eyes? <laughs> 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 hey, keep working on it, buddy. I noticed he didn't have a full audience watching, but with the amount of fish we were saving, I knew that that would change soon. I swam over to Raiden, and he was happy to see that I was okay. I've done lots of readings on this book for the cure. In order to make it, it looks like we'll need three different skulk items. The skulk magma seeds, the skulk bone, and the skulk tendril. Each seem like they're going to be harder and harder to get, so you should still upgrade as you find them. Good idea. Where's the first item? The Skulk Magma Seed is in an ocean that is much hotter than the rest. The Nether. I know of an abandoned portal, but you must get the rest of the resources if you wish to activate it. Sounds like a plan to me. Where is this portal? On days 27 to 29, I was going to various locations to find the leftover ingredients. Using my new amazing legs, I went on the shoreline and was able to grab myself a flint to make flint and steel. After that, I found the right amount of obsidian down below an underwater cave and luckily there were enough
enough diamonds for me to make a pick and collect the obsidian. I then made my way over to where the portal was located. This is too easy. I put the blocks on the portal and was about to activate it when... Would you look at this? The last warden shark running away from its destiny. You, you hurt my parents. You've hurt many different lives in this ocean. I will do what I have to in order to stop you. Don't you already see that it's too late? I have this ocean in my grip. Once I have you, it won't stand a chance. All of a sudden, a bunch of other drowned were summoned around me. Knowing that I had no other choice, I ignited the portal and escaped. I made my way on the other side of the portal and knew that I had to act fast. I quickly pulled my pickaxe out and started to mine the obsidian behind me. Once the portal was broken, I knew that I was safe for now. I looked over and saw a giant lava ocean and made my way over to it. Since I was part warden, it meant that I was immune to lava. I was about to make my way inside of it when... Hey, 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 you can't in a man! Whoa, calm down. Do not tell me to calm down! You understand how hot-headed I am? Especially after those new lava guys came here and started taking my stuff! All the striders are never letting anyone roam in these oceans again! Your stuff? Yeah, us striders, we love our golden warped fungus, but we haven't had any since... Man, I can't even remember. Let's make a deal. I bring you your golden warped fungus back, and you let me into your oceans. What do you say? On days 33 to 35, I made my way through the nether looking for the golden fungus. I followed the strider's instructions and made it to a tall looking tower. I wonder who stole their food. Right before I made my way inside, I was quickly stopped by a horde of lava drowned. You guys are here too? Every attack they hit dealt some serious fire damage to me. I attacked bite after bite until I took down the last one. From the looks of things, he dropped a key. I picked up the key and then noticed a locked door. I wonder where this leads. I opened the passageway and made my way up the tower. I made it to the rooftop and there was someone there waiting for me. Who dare disturb me? So, are you the one who took the Strider's fungus? The skeleton didn't listen to me though and began to attack. It shot out attacks that withered my hearts away. I tried to get close to bite, but it always had the upper hand with its long range. What am I supposed to do? Suddenly, I looked over and saw that the skeleton skeleton was guarding the third heart of the skulk. Perfect. Knowing that I was low, I made my way over and absorbed it. Like last time, I had a huge sensation of power that emerged within me. I gained five more hearts and now had a sick trident. The skeleton continued to attack, but with my new trident, I was able to throw it at her, greatly weakening her. With one more throw, the skeleton was down. I then looked down and saw that she dropped the golden fungus. Lava ocean, here I come. On days 36 to 38, I returned to the strider and gave him his golden fungus. Oh yeah, baby, this is the stuff. You are allowed entry. Now that I was in the ocean, I swam my way through, being able to explore many new areas. I followed my instincts until I was met by a lava ocean nether city. The place looked really run down and even had vines hanging low off the roofs. A loud rumble started to fill the area, and that's when I looked up and noticed a bat on one of the towers. Hey, is everything all right? Oh, I didn't realize anyone was here. I used to be able to enjoy the view of my beautiful town. And now, it's a mess because of these blinding vines. Wait, how can you see? Uh, you know what? Never mind. I know why you are here, Warden Shark. You seek the first ingredient, the Skulk Magma Seed, to aid you in your quest. I shall give it to you, but only if you help me get rid of these things. Sounds like a deal. I swam around and looked up. How am I supposed to reach those? I then came up with an idea. Using my new trident, I was able to throw it at the vines, which caused them to break. I threw it one by one until eventually all of them were gone. Thank you so much. A deal is a deal. The bat then dropped down and handed me over the first ingredient for the cure, the Skulk Magma Seed. Perfect. The next day, I exited the nether through another portal and I found myself in a new cave. I decided to explore for more resources and found diamond ore to craft myself a full set of armor. Sweet! I then made my way out and immediately noticed movement to my right. Uh, who's there? I heard it again and turned to see my parents swimming right after me. Oh no! I didn't have time to react and was attacked by both of them. 
Mom! Dad! I don't want to fight you! Please! I have to get out of here! I struggled and quickly swam away, but they were closing in right behind me. Wait a minute. I think I have an idea. Follow me, guys. On days 42 to 44, I arrived at my base, and they were still right behind me. Someone! Help! Raiden swam out. He then built up a cage. Perfect. I swam as close as I could to it, and at the last second, I turned, causing my parents to swim right into it. Raiden then closed it off. Phew! That was a close one. Thanks. Bold move, Fozo. What now? Now, we just have to cure them. Hold on. I noticed that there were more fish than the last time I was here. What gives? Oh, they're all here to see my comedy shows. I looked around the base, and all of the other fish seemed to be happy and laughing with each other. I guess this place has become a safe space from the horrors of the Drowned King. I got to work with others to build up houses for all of the new residents. Well, all but one. A seal approached us and seemed to be having a problem. I hear you're looking for a heart of the skulk. I've been separated from my team, but if you find them for me, they'll be able to help you. Tell them Johnson sent you. I agreed. Not only can I get another heart of the skulk, but I can help out another sea animal. Raiden swam over because he overheard. I'm coming too. We traveled into the following day as the waters began to get colder. Brrr. The quick change in temperature seemed to be too much for Raiden, and he wanted to rest. I jumped up on land and placed down a campfire to warm us up. Thanks for the warmth, Fozo. I won't be long. I can tell something was off. Hey, are you okay? No, I'm an old broken dolphin, Fozo. When the drowned attacked my kind, my son, he was turned against me. All I could do was swim away. I lost the one thing dearest to me, and I'll stop at nothing to see the drowned king defeated. I'm so sorry, Raiden. Once I've grown strong enough, we'll defeat him together. As we continued our way through the Tundra River, we suddenly saw drowned running straight for us. Oh no! Wait, they're swimming past us? Where are they going? Ow! A barrage of snowballs began to rain down on us. Ow! 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 It was too much, and both of us were frozen. Thompson, take this intruder to the holding cell. On days 48 to 50, I found myself stuck in ice with two weird seals staring back. The seals broke the ice around my face and began yelling at me. Why are you helping the drowned? Where is your king hiding? He has completely ruined our organization here and we will stop at nothing to stop him. Hey, hey, I'm not with them. I'm trying to defeat the drowned king. The seals didn't believe it and kept interrogating me. Ah, uh, Johnson, he sent me. Johnson, I'll be. He's telling the truth, Navy SEALs. Navy SEALs? Oh. They broke me out of the ice, and I realized that Raiden was missing. Where is he? The SEALs seemed confused and explained that they only found me. What? I ran back outside, but he was nowhere in sight. You know, there's a camp just down the river converting fish life into the drowned. And if I'm being honest, we have a suspicion that that is where the next heart of the skulk is located. Maybe he was there. I have to save him. I jumped into the river and swam towards the camp. Once I arrived, I saw drowned everywhere. I was about to swim in when a freaky drowned beast burst into the camp. Intruder, kill! I tried to fight him, but my attacks were barely doing anything. This guy was just way too strong for me. He was dealing so much damage. How am I supposed to defeat this thing? Hoo the Navy SEAL suddenly jumped in and started beating the monster back. Yes, it looked like we were going to win, but the beast jumped up and slammed down, cracking a hole in the ground that sucked me through. Wait, no! On days 51 to 53, I got up to find myself trapped in a maze of ice? Where am I? I wandered throughout the halls until I reached a giant room filled with platforms above a void. I better not fall down there. There was an important looking door of skulk waiting on the other side. 
guess I gotta use my shark legs. I began jumping from platform to platform. It was hard and I almost fell. Ah! Oh, that was close. Finally, I managed to make it across safely. I tried opening the door, but it wouldn't budge. That's when it hit me. The door was made out of skulk. Could it be that easy? I tried using my warden bite and the door opened. As I entered through, I saw a heart of the skulk waiting for me on a pedestal. Grabbing it, I immediately gained five more hearts and even grew a little in size. I felt so much stronger and had a new ability. Perfect. Now time to take down that giant drowned monster. I emerged from the depths the next day and saw the SEAL team still battling. They looked like they wouldn't last much longer. I jumped in and took a hit for one of the SEALs. It did some damage, but I still had plenty of hearts. Time to test this bad boy. I used my new lightning shout ability, which summoned a lightning bolt on him and sent him reeling back. While he was stunned, I took a few bites out of him, and before he could react, I finished him off with another lightning bolt. I feel so much stronger now. As he fell, he dropped a strange skulk bone on the floor. I ran to pick it up and realized it was the second of the three parts I needed for the cure. The SEAL team thanked me for the save and offered to come back to the base. We can help protect your people from the drowned. Awesome. We'll need all the help we can get. Fire! A warden shark has just defeated our main camp! He is within reach of the cure! This is an outrage! How dare this shark defy my will! Get me Captain Getbeard at once! We're changing the plan! On days 57 to 59, the SEALs and I returned to base, and I quickly got to work creating a nice icy area for them to stay at. This cove was really starting to come along. They thanked me for their new home, and immediately began patrolling the base for trouble. It's nice to finally have some security around here. I looked over at Raiden's home, and knew that I still needed to find him. Where are you, buddy? I decided to venture out, and see if I can find any clues. As I was looking around, I saw a dolphin washed up on the shoreline. Wait, Raiden? What happened to you? Fozo, I'm so happy to see you were okay. When we got separated, I got scared and started to search around for you. But when I did, I got followed by an entire fleet of pirate ships. But thankfully, I was able to lose them. I'm just glad you're okay. Just then, we heard yelling and turned to see the fleet off in the distance. Oh no, they found us. I went out on the following day to confront the pirates. I surfaced, ready for a fight. Back up! Or I'll eat every last one of you. Wait, I just want to make a deal. A deal? You've tried to kill me. The drowned captain explained that he was only working for the drowned king to betray him. I don't care about the other drowned. We pirates only care about ourselves. And treasure. Yeah? And why would I care? The last item ye searching for be hidden with a legendary secret booty. And I be needing the shark's help to get it. I get the loot. Ye get the treasure. It be a win-win. I didn't want to trust him, but knew that I needed that cure more than anything. I jumped on board, and the pirate brought me over to his quarters before showing me a map. X marks the spot. Our treasure lies at Skull Island, and ye are the only way inside. On days 63 to 65, Captain Deadbeard and I docked at a dangerous looking island. We began walking towards a cave. Those that enter without a shark's bite never live to tell the tale. Well, that doesn't sound scary at all. I entered and started to go deeper inside. I wonder why this place is so feared. Suddenly, I heard a loud growl. I turned around and saw a giant deadly shark. The shark started to charge in and attack me. Ah! Back off, man. I'm one of you. It didn't listen, though, and just wanted to kill me. I had no choice and threw my trident at him, which defeated him. I guess that should show you that warden sharks are more powerful. I looked down and noticed that that it dropped a key. Maybe with this, we can get into the treasure room. I continued deeper into the caverns. I eventually reached a larger room with a locked fish-shaped door. The key. I placed the key in its eye, and the door opened up, and Captain Deadbeard stepped through. Arr, about time! Yeah, yeah. It's good to see you too. We walked further into the cave together until we walked through a passageway that revealed an entire room filled with various treasures. Whoa! In the center of it was a pillar that held the final part of the cure, the skulk tendril. I ran over to grab it. With this, I can finally cure my- ah! Ah! 
<laughs> Foolish warden shark, never trust a pirate. Soon the drowned king will be here. You'll be dead, while I rule the surface in peace. He ran over and pulled the lever, sealing me inside. <laughs> oh! Suddenly, I heard terrifying noises from deep below. Uh, what is that? I'm not gonna stay around and find out. I tried biting my way out, but it wasn't working, and the noises were getting louder. Think. Think! I concentrated real hard and used my newest ability. I summoned a lightning bolt down into the bars, destroying them. Ah, I'm free! Even though that pirate betrayed me, at least I have the final piece to the cure. Now, time to go save my mom and dad. I returned to base as fast as I could. Raiden, I did it! I got all the cured items! Perfect, Fozo! Quick, hand them to me! With the book, I can make the purifier! I handed the items to Raiden, and he quickly threw me back something. It was the cure! I picked it up and went to my drowned parents. I hope this works. I put it down right in front of them, and it began to suck the curse from them, turning them back into warden sharks. Son, you saved us. Mom, Dad. We are so proud of you. I'm glad you're okay. My parents explained that while they had been cursed, they learned of the drowned king's secret operation. He is up to something, Fozo. Please be careful. We are all in trouble. The next day, I made my way back to the King Drown's base. My parents said I would find out more deep underground. I noticed that there were many drowned roaming around, so I did what I could to be as stealthy as possible. I found the way down and snuck my way around until I spotted the Drowned King talking to one of his minions. Sorry, sire. We can't find the Skulk Wave. The Skulk Wave? Idiot! If that Warden Shark gets to it first, he'll be able to free the entire ocean from my spell at once. I won't let that happen! We must enter the Deep Dark! The Deep Dark? In other words, the Warden's Dimension. The only way there is through an ancient city. Great. No matter. I have to find a way to before he does. This is how I'm gonna stop the Drowned King! I knew the only way to figure out more about my dimension was to search my old homeland. The last time I was here was when it was completely taken over. Now, it was completely desolate. I noticed the portal in the middle. This is great, but how am I supposed to open this? Just then, I got shot from behind. Ah! I turned around to see Captain Deadbeard before me. Your escape made me look like a fool in front of the Drowned King. For that, I'll make sure you never leave this city alive. The captain charged at me and started to shoot at me with his explosives. It's time for payback. I attacked him too. We dealt blow for blow, but his attacks were really strong. Suddenly, I had an idea. I waited for him to attack again, and as soon as he did, I threw my trident through his explosive. Deadbeard was gone, and it looked like he dropped a treasure chest. I placed it on the ground, and suddenly a bunch of treasure started spitting out of it. Whoa. Among it was a weird looking orb. I have a strange feeling. I swam up to the portal with the orb, and it fully ignited the middle portal in the ancient city. Whoa. Deep dark, here I come. On days 81 to 85, I entered the deep dark. Okay, I just need to find the skulk wave, but where could that be? I continued searching until I saw a giant skulk worm fighting off the drowned king. Oh no, he found a way in. I was about to help, but he quickly was able to defeat it. Rah! It's not here. I must keep searching. The drowned king left without noticing me. I quickly made my way over, only to see that he was right. There was nothing here. Mama! I heard a noise and turned around only to see a small little deep dark mob saddened over the loss of the worm. My goodness, was this your mother? Yes, she was trying to keep our dimension safe. But that evil drowned man has come and has started to kill everyone for what he wants. Well, that's why I'm here. I plan to stop him. But first, I need to find the skulk wave. The skulk wave? That's what my mama was trying to hide from the evil drowned man. I know where you can find it. Follow me. We must move quick. On days 86 to 90, my new friend and I went swimming deeper into the deep dark. We were swimming for a while until we found a temple located in the middle of an ocean. 
This is where the skulk wave should be located. I told them to stay here while I go in to further investigate. I swam inside and found a pedestal waiting for me. But wait a second. After a second glance, this was the final heart of the skulk. I took it. I gained 10 more hearts and grew a lot more in size. I noticed that my armor also got transformed into full warden armor. A new item appeared in my inventory. There it was, the skulk wave. I was about to celebrate when I heard a loud commotion outside. I swam back out, only to see my new friend panicking. Oh, we must go quick. I think the Drowned King is on his way. You're right, Steep. Come on, let's get out of here. My new friend Steep and I left the dimension and made it back to base. I can tell that he was weirded out by the sunlight. Not used to it, are you? No, not at all. But looking around at this place you've built up, I think I'm gonna grow to love it. I was happy to hear that and decided to build him a small home right next to mine. He was so young. I knew that it would be my responsibility to help raise him. I swam over to my parents and told them the good news. Son, you could not have made us happier. This isn't over yet, though. The Drowned King is strong. We can't let our guard down. They're right. If we want to attack, it has to be now. And it has to be you. I think it's time. I left the cove, only to see the Drowned King and his army there waiting for me. So, Warden Shark, I know you have the item. I will not let you do this. Your time of running this ocean is over. What you did to my parents, to countless families out there, it is unexcusable. And soon, you will learn to regret it. No, it shall be you that regrets ever facing me and my army. His army started to swim towards me to attack. Just as they did, I pulled out my skulk wave item and ignited it. This caused the huge sound wave to emerge throughout the water, curing any lost soul back to who they once were. Eels, jellyfish, sharks, all of them were back to normal. Kill the shark! I swam in and started to attack all of the drowned. There were a lot, but with my new upgrades, they stood no chance against me. Bite after bite, trident after trident, they were all going down like flies. As I killed the last one, I noticed the drowned king retreating. Oh no, you don't. On day 100, I was swimming after the king before he stopped and floated in the center of an arena. You took everything from me. No, I took back what was rightfully mine, the ocean. Let's end this. The Drowned King and I both charged into each other. His attacks were really strong. Every hit he dealt took away a lot of my heart. Ah, I thought I was strong enough. I was getting low and he was about to kill me. Oh, no! Any last words, you stupid shark? Leave him alone! Out of nowhere, Raiden appeared, saving my life. Thank goodness you're here. Let's finish this. Together! Raiden and I both went in and started to attack the king at once. The battle was long and one of the most difficult things I've ever had to do. But with Raiden by my side, our damage combined was overwhelming him. Curse you! Just like that, the Drowned King was defeated. We did it, Raiden. The ocean is our home again.